Do you hate your spouse? If you are divorced, do you hate your spouse more than you love your children? Yes, this is a challenging question I'm going to ask you because you may say, I don't hate my spouse. But I will say that if you chose divorce over sticking it out, you are showing that your disdain, your hatred, your lack of love, your enmity, whatever the feelings are for your spouse are greater than your desire for your children's happiness. I know you don't want to hear it. But so often, nearly 100% of the time, and I'm talking to those of you that left the marriage, not those of you that were victims, <clears throat> excuse me, and you would love for the marriage to continue, even if you knew your marriage was struggling and difficult, and you even had your own days where you're like, oh, this person's driving me crazy. Because ultimately, you've got your feelings, your spouse's feelings, and your children's feelings. And when you say, I choose my feelings over those feelings of my children. You are showing that your feelings of hatred or enmity for your spouse are in fact greater than your love for your children because love is patient. So you'd have to be patient with their father, their mother. Love is kind, even if your spouse is unkind with you. And again, I'm talking mostly to you that left. Well, actually, I'm totally talking to, to those of you that left. But there are some of you that when your spouse left, you're like, good, hit the high road. I don't care. So perhaps I'm speaking to you as well. But when you left your spouse, you gave up literally half the time with your children. You said to yourself, you made a decision to say, I am willing to spend only 50% of my humans, my children humans, their lives. I am willing to give up half of their lifetimes so that I can be happy and move on and find someone else, you know, my soulmate. Sure, you can find a boyfriend or a girlfriend that, that you feel treats you better than your spouse did. But that person time for another video, is never going to be the one that your children want in your bed. They want you there and daddy there, or they want you there and mommy there. Layla Miller, I always say the author of the book, Primal Loss, The Now Adult Children of Divorce Speak. She says she's an editor because what she did is she collected the opinions, the, the reasonings of other adult children of divorce. And so these children, these adults, now adults, say that they would not have answered had they not had anonymity. So I'd like to read to you just, just two. And I opened my book because I knew any page would be devastating. I opened it up and I picked two people who answered the question, how do you feel about your parents' divorce now as an adult versus as a child? Person number 31, whoever he is or she is, wrote, childhood, the mom protects the children by making sure dad calls, dad is there to help, dad signs the cards, moms are the heart, and they take care of the kids and make sure dad shows up. Dad is not there after the divorce, he can't be. He's not there to bless me every night, not there for prayers, not there to help with homework. He is not there. It's horrible. Adulthood, I still hate that my parents are divorced and that my dad remarried. I hate that at every family get together, I am reminded that my family is broken. I hate it. I wish they had never gotten divorced. Basically, I don't want anyone to know that I'm damaged. I don't want anyone to know the turmoil in my heart. I live in a community, my bubble where there's really no divorce and messed up stuff like I grew up with. It's weird. I have an incredible husband, and I guess I don't want him to know how messed up this made me. Yes, he would still love me. He's amazing. But I really keep this messed up me hidden. And I try every day to focus on my family. Funny, when we were dating, and he asked me the effects of my parents' divorce had on me, I said, oh, nothing. Huh. Then we were married, and the cracks showed my husband understands a lot now, 
He sees that divorce is horrible and that it has hurt me. Person 67. As a child, I was matter of fact about the divorce. It seemed inevitable to me, just part of the path of life for people to go from partner to partner as their needs changed. I was explicitly taught this. I prided myself on and received lots of praise for helping my parents and handling things so well. Now I see how much I, my brother, and my step siblings were damaged by divorce. I see the loss of self knowledge, the paths wrongly taken, and the denied sadness of my life. And I can trace most of it back to that event. I want to be clear that divorce isn't just one event in a child's life. It is a series of events, each creating fractures and sometimes craters in a child's world. There were arguments I thought I could stop when I was six or seven. By eight years old, I was defending one parent to the other on a regular basis. I was oddly tuned into their plan, to their pain, in a way that I hope most children are not. By nine, I was figuring out how to compartmentalize. My father returned to the Southeast after the divorce, and every time I went to visit him, I was not only orchestrating my relationship with him, but also the relationships between the two families. How would I see my mom's family? How much time with my dad's? Who felt neglected or like I was choosing the other family over theirs? Fortunately, all this happened in an atmosphere of Southern civility. So there was rarely any overt discourse, or discord. It was all unspoken. I never had to worry that my parents would misbehave in public or embarrass me in the way I know many kids of divorce experience. Even today, I am managing my parents' relationship with one another. My mother recently went through cancer treatment, and my father, who is still in love with her, sent her several consoling emails to which she would not respond. I had to beg her to at least send him a thanks for thinking of me email, which she cc'd me in on. All of this is the ongoing damage of divorce. I could read more. I, I, I read these and I think, should I read this one? Should I read that one? Well, let me read one more. Number 39. I don't really feel, I don't really feel any different about the, the divorce now. I always thought it was cruel and unfair. Only now as a Catholic, I understand that marriage is a sacrament. And I understand the difference between a contract and a covenant, one that my parents most certainly did not grasp. Guys, we are seeking way too much our own happiness. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. Nowhere in the Bible does it ever say you deserve to be happy. You don't. I don't. You and I are sinners saved by grace. You and I deserve to burn in hell for the sins we've committed. Please, for the love of God, and most importantly, well, nothing's more important than your love of God, but equally as important for the love of your children, put their needs first. Do not blind yourself into thinking it's a one-time event and that your children will get over it. They may not even know that they haven't gotten over it. I know so many children that say, well, it's fine. It's fine. And I watch as it destroys them. I watch their responses. I watch their anger. I watch how they interact and how that changed after their parents divorced. Do you hate your spouse more than you love your children? Ponder that. And if by chance you're watching this video and you're contemplating filing, I beg of you, I beg of you, don't do it. Don't do it. Carry that cross so your children don't have to. I'm Dr. Christine Bacon. Thanks for watching another informational bacon bit. And as always, Remember to live your life sunny side up.